Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. So here is a man who is ubiquitously regarded as the greatest bantamweight of all time. He'll tell you he built this division, and I, DC, I know he's not here to pick a fight with you right now, but this legacy of Dominic Cruz is really exceptional. It is unbelievable what Dominic Cruz has accomplished over the course of his career. Not a guy that people thought would go down in history as one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. He's not a guy that has a laundry list of accomplishments before he got to this martial art. But he's a guy that is unmatched in his preparation and a guy that has a will and a desire to win that no one, and I say no one, can match. So from the commentary table where Dom's constantly yelling at me right. to in the octagon, Dominic Cruz wants to be the winner. And injury-wise, no fighter has dealt with more adversity than Dominic Cruz, who still believes at one point or another before his career is said and done, he will be belted yet again. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Marlon Chico Vera! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves just make it fun. Center in Newark, New Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here. And we got a good UFC fight in the Oh, wow. Sports gambling is legal. John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Anik knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will give you a great fight. Brick City. <laughs> Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, 
just out of range with that punch attempt. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. The Dominator gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful leg kick throw. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Right hand upstairs. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice loop and punch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got enough beautiful takedown. Oh, reversal here. Oh, no, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use brown and palm to open up submission opportunities. Back to the feet now. Well, he missed with that right hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Cruz. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Dominic Cruz. Hook is there again. Get right here. We got a fight, folks. goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combo. Look like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Punches. Big knee to the body. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy, and oh, oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Unable 
to connect with the right. Well, it's not okay. hurt really bad. He's gotten hurt here. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt in the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Cruz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. He went high on that one. Oh, big knee. Spinning back fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single pop wow. side. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Down land a clean. Back to the feet. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down there. He got him! <laughs> A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marlon Chico Barrow! Oh, well, there he is.
is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.